So we're here at the SID Display Week uh, right here in Los Angeles at the networking event. And uh, who are you? My name is Yamazaki of Semiconductor Energy Laboratory. And uh, so you, you worked on uh, coming up basically with EGZO, right? Yes, yes. And uh, how many years ago was this? Well, we started the, the 2008 and I found that the CAC new stru crystal structure. Then we started the big project. At 2008? 20, 2008. So 10 years? Yes. 10 years this is, is fast this, in yeah. the display world, right? Yes, but this is a 10 years anniversary for me. 10 years anniversary, right? Yes. So, um, usually some people, when they do display technology, it takes 50 years before it becomes big. And now IGZO is already the biggest? Yeah, that is, I have the, the very good, uh, fortunate the situations. First is, for example, the sharp corporate to do the mass production of the crystalline exo for the CAC or nano crystalline. Sharp make very beautiful exo displays, like amazing. They're just so good. They're better than uh, amorphous silicon. Yeah, the that, better. That much better than the amorphous silicon. Much better. Yeah, quality and power consumption. So, how much better? How much better? Double well, as good? Half the power? No. The, the re yeah, half the power of the power consumption. Half because, the power? Yeah, that the, the new function start the hydrogen soap or something like that. The, because that off current of the exo is so small compared with the silicon. And uh, uh, this is uh, LCD technology. So LCD is uh, uh, 50 years now, right? Yes, that's correct. The, this year is the 50 years anniversary for LCD. And you improved <coughs> LCD, so it's better than OLED? The or no? Backplane, backplane uh, at that age, the uh, amorphous silicon is used. But now the EXO will change to amorphous silicon. Then that 8K, the biggest 8K spec TV that I think that the EXO will be the government. Dominant technology for 8K. Yes, yes. And the dominant will be LCD more than OLED for 8K, probably. One is that 8K no LCD, but the other is that OLED application. That is more suitable for EXO. So EXO is okay for OLED? Yeah, absolutely. That's wonderful. It's wonderful for OLED. So yes. you're not an LCD-only technology? Yeah, I think that the in, in, the, in the field of the display, the ancient uh, present, present states that the amorphous silicon and the low temperature poly is governed as a backplane. But both of them will change to the, to the exo, crystalline, especially crystalline exo. Crystalline exo. Yes. So when you say a liquid crystal display and crystalline exo, what is its connection? Yeah. A different that crystal. Is the control the back brain and of the exo will control to to the which pixel will bright or black or like that, so that the back brain and the front brain will cooperate with each other. And uh, do you have 8K TV at home? Yes. You we have one. Yes, we in your have home. Uh, at my laboratory, we have. Ah, in your laboratory, not in yes. your home. No, not yet. But in the next two years, you will have, right? I because uh, I 2020 Olympics will be 8K. Yes, correct. So that we do the core research with NHK to spread to the 8K spec. And EXO uh, is also better for HDR. Yeah, much much better. HDR is the uh, spec is 2K. So that is 4K and 8K, so that much, much better, the quality. I really want to have an 8K 70-inch uh, sharp display. It looks amazing, right? But it's cost eight, 8K dollars. It's a little yeah. bit expensive. It should be down to but, uh, 3K, to 4, 2K. So, so that, the, the, of course, the, the as of starting the production, now it go down rapidly, I think. And uh, how about all these phones? How many phones are EXO? How many phones? Smartphones. Ah, 
That is now the low temperature poly as a backplane is uh, used. But maybe in future, in five years, that will change to the Iguro because that the OLED is more suitable for LCD. So right now it's which one is used? Is amorphosilicon now? Now low temperature poly. Low uh, LTPS. LTPS, yes. So now most smartphone is LTPS. Not yes. nobody is making EXO or somebody. A little bit or no no. Ah, uh, that is smartphone. Nobody. Nobody. But iPad. The most of all iPad is now produced by using EXO. Nice. So if you have 9.7 inch or larger display, it's suitable. But and they will go down to smaller. Smaller, not a medium size, not the iPad. And then in future, that uh, the iPhone life. Is there any chance EXO can be used for reflective display that has yeah. no need for backlight? <clears throat> yeah, that is the uh, EXO is very strong to the flexibility. So that we are we we are the first to certify the EXO as a flexible display. We say the foldable display three years ago. So you certified for flexible displays, mm. but how about reflective displays? The display that can use outside and have uh, a, the transflective or reflective or so that properties. we invented the hybrid display that is at the, the outside that. The reflective LCD is used, but inside the room, that the OLED will emit it to the signature. You invented that? Yeah. You also did that? Yeah. This and uh, this SID, we, we presented the, the three, three sections. Three sections of uh, yes. hybrid display? Yes, yes, correct. How's the quality of the hybrid? Uh, if, if you go outside with the display, how is it? How will be the quality? Like paper? Oh no. Grandpa to say not so much. So that that is uh, one of the programs and to be improved to to the future. What is the solution to improve this? Mm, because we, we want to have a, now, a display like we are paper, now right? Looking for. You're working on it, right? You yeah. have many projects, many things happening every day in the office, right? Uh, yes, for the future. Yes. Also that. May I say that another application of the EXO? Yeah. That is, uh, you know, that in the age of AI, artificial intelligence. Yeah. Do you know that? Artificial intelligence. Yeah. AI. AI. Yeah. That is the power consumption is most most important problem. For the AI. Yeah. So that for the application, LSI is one of the reasons for the high power consumption, so that if the, the silicon LSI may change to EXO LSI, then that power consumption will become the less than 1%. But are we talking about processors? No. What are we talking about? Silicon of what? After, after the, maybe it takes uh, 10 years or uh, like that, but the possibility of the EXO is so high, not only to the display. Not only display, also but, CPU. But also the CPU and memory. CPU and memory will get EXO also? Yeah, I think five or ten years later. So that, that means the CPU will be hundred times less power consumption? One percent? Yeah, I think so. That is our company's major subject. Most important subject. Because my, my website is called ARM devices, right? ARM CPU, they try to use less power. So yeah. it's very important for them to go even lower, right? Yeah. That and is Intel me. also looking at this, right? So that is uh, one of the biggest subject for, for SEL. You also work with the CPU R&D? Yeah. Display, CPU? Or memory, LSI memory, such as DRAM or flash memory. That is because that the flash memory of the, the device was invented by me. So that... Which one? Do you know the name of flash memory? Flash memory. Yeah. That is a fundamental device. Yeah? Transistor. For, you invent... Yeah. You invent I, the flash memory. I, I invented When? When was that? 1970. 1970? So that uh, 50 years ago. <laughs> And uh, how did you invent this? How do you get the idea for flash memory? That is uh, that I found the instability. Then that uh, the after that, I think I want to apply to this instability. You know, hysteresis. 
Then I invented the silicon floating gate with control gate. That is also the same structure of the flash memory. Silicon that floating gate? And control gate. Control gate. So that is the same structure, absolutely, absolutely the same structure of the present flash memory. And uh, uh, like it's just static memory, it's just stable, it stays. That is it does, if you shake the device, it's okay. Yeah, that is a non volatile. Non volatile? Yeah. So if the, the silicon changes to the exo, this kind of the floating gate may change the new evil and the innovation, I think. But exo, is that a type of silicon? An, imp an no, implementation no, no, no. of silicon or a replacement? Replace. Replace, replace silicon. Re yeah, replace silicon. So it will not be Silicon Valley any anymore, it will be Ixo Valley. Maybe the 10 years later. <laughs> the 10 years later. Where will it be? The Ixo Valley. Uh, maybe the, the, In the I, USA uh, or somewhere else? Some, yeah, I don't know. That. You don't know? Yeah, but uh, people are talking about 3D flash memory. I know. That. How does that work? 3D, the fundamental device structure is uh, M-O-N-O-S. But in the end, in the silicon nitride, included the silicon cluster. That also invented by me. My invention is just a transistor, no 3D structure. Your invention is, is what part? The transistor, one element of the device. So an, an element that, of the device that, that then, enables this? Then that, that is the integrated to the 3D structure. That people say the 3D non crash or like that. So that's gonna change a lot. If it if they can make it more and more 3D non flash, it will be much more memory for lower price, right? I think so. In the next two three years, will happen. I think so. And also with Ixo, will what will do more memory, lower price? What will it do? I think that the, the field application of the field are a little bit different. The 3D non crash is the biggest capacitor or like that. But three, the the exo memory, such as we say the dosram or nosram, that is uh, the the first uh, and number of time memory. That is about the performance, <laughs> about the battery consumption. What is about what? How will exo help the memory? It will uh, help to get more memory or better memory or what? Yeah, that is uh, the now that the, the AI field, the new application, new market is requested. One is the, that is a very huge capacity of the memory that is not. That is already known by tape or not 3D non flash. But quick response and near CPU and normal tile. There is no solution at the present stage. So that the EXO LSI may be applied to that. That is a big, big subject to do that. So you had invention in the memory, in the display, in the CPU? You have something in the CPU? Yeah, that means all of the application of the EXOS. All the application could be, yes. used, could be using EXO. Correct. But uh, how does it feel for you to, to know that you invent something that so many people use? I don't know. How's your feeling? I, I don't know that. You don't think about but, it? But anyway, in the display field, many people use the TV or the iPad or like that. That is very happy for me. It makes Don't, you happy, right? As a researcher, yeah. the, the invention will be used by the human being. That is uh, so, so important and so happy things to do, don't you? And, uh, and the flash memory? Yeah, flash memory is now used. Everywhere? Everyone, yes. Using personal computer or the like. So you designed the memory for everybody? Yeah. Everybody's memory is stored on the technology you invent? Yeah. It's special to think about don't, that, right? Don't you think that is a happy and a very fortunate thing? Don't you think so? It's very fortunate. That yeah. means that means thanks to you, uh, you, you're giving memory to human people, right? Yeah, I think <laughs> like so. Like all the pictures, I think so. and everything. Then that after that, the AI age will be grow. That is so good for human being, don't you? And uh, how does it work when you have a, a, a challenge, something new, so they need a new, new solution? How do you work to invent something yeah, new? That is uh, the new challenge, as I said, so that like a space shuttle. <laughs> how, do you, how do you get your 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 company 
and your employees to think about finding a solution. How is the organization for this? Yeah, that means that because that I'm the president, so that the, by doing the research, controlled by me, and we are concentrating to, to, the, to, the, the, to complete to the memory or CPU, that we say GPU or GPGPU, that will be used for, for EXO. That is my fortune, my last job, biggest job. And uh, every day uh, trying again to find a solution, invent again and again? Yeah, something try, new? Try. That is the same as the, the Thomas H. And you know that. And uh, it's, it's, it must be a fun job, right? To just sit down and try to yeah. find a solution? Because that, so that uh, the, as we uh, the patent so many things to more than 50% of the exo related patent in the world. So that we are, the, we are now making the way for the front, front the, as a pioneer of the exos. And uh, here at the conference is also uh, the guys that invent the LCD, the OLED, yes. many, and the plasma. Many guys around here. Is it nice to come to the SID Display Week to yeah. talk with uh, your friends, right? The fr your friends? Yes, yes, we have so many friends. But yeah. our position is a back plane, not a front plane. The back plane is more important? Maybe for the active or very precise the view, then the active, no, back plane is very important to do that. Uh, how soon are you going to have a flexible phone? Next year? Maybe. How soon can we may all have buy may this? Maybe next year or the year after the next. And also maybe thanks to IGZO? Yeah. IGZO okay. must be the must, must necessary to do that.